Howdy, people. So, I've had some people ask, how do you uh, dry dirt when your dirt's too wet for backfill? It's a big problem, especially with water and sewer. The deeper you go, generally, the wetter the dirt is. Sometimes you end up under the water table. It's a pretty crappy deal. But there's not a lot you can do about it, except uh, dry your dirt. How do you do that? Grab yourself a beautiful old farm tractor. I prefer the old ones because they're more reliable and they sound cooler. This just happens to be a John Deere 4960. It's a 92, I believe. Uh, so, I mean, it's just about 20 years old. As you can see, it's got the beautiful 15 speed power shift. I disc in about ninth gear most of the time. I've been known to grab 11th if I can. A little bit of speed really gets your uh, dirt turning over nice. There's our disc. It's a ball dam, so about 10 feet, 11 feet. It's uh, actually not quite as wide as the tractor, so you can see we've got some duels on it. Helps with the flotation, and uh, especially if you want to walk a slope sideways with the tractor, it's pretty cool. It's uh, a little bit like drifting, so to speak. Uh, the back end will slide out, and the front end will just keep on trucking. Four wheel drive will pull you. So, we'll try out some disc in here. We'll lower our steering wheel. The John Deere placement is from a good friend, Scott. He's good people. You might remember him from the furry box video. So let's get moving. So clutch down there, put her in gear. Let's start in fifth, a little bit of throttle. Ease out on the clutch. I don't feel like listening to the drawbar slap. And we're going. So there's ninth. We're giving her. There's the hole loading some dirt out. As I said on the Facebook page, a little loud in here with that open. Anyways, as I said on the Facebook page, disking is a lot like NASCAR. You turn left a lot. I also tend to run the tractor with the windows open just because it, uh, it's a little cooler. The AC is not real awesome. As you can see, I use the brake to turn. That does help a lot with these tractors. Just use your brakes, they're there for that. You have to turn uh, left because the disc is made to turn left. If you uh, turn right, it digs in a little bit too deep and you start, you can mess up the frame, you can mess up the drawbar, all kinds of stuff. You do start breaking crap too. Uh, when you turn left, it actually pulls itself out of the ground a little bit, it'll ride up and make turning a lot easier. So as you can see, I'm just doing some big circles here in our little spill pile. This is the dirt from the Scraper Madness video with the D375. Pushing those beautiful 631s. That's the dirt. There's a little gummy back in the fall. That was October. We're now into May. And she's a little crappy. I am kicking up dust because the top's dry. As you can see, I mean, look at the color difference. You're looking some pretty crappy stuff. So the tractor's bogging down here. I'm at uh, 1,700 RPM. And I'm taking a nice bite out. But yeah. It's a glorious world of discing. I know a lot of guys don't really care for this job. I actually do like it. It's nice and simple. Reminds me of home, driving around on the farm. Gives me something to do. And it lets me be in a John Deere tractor. There you go, as you can see my front tire spinning there pretty good. Actually both of them. We're down to 
1300 RPM. And we're pulling through. There you see, there's all the mud on my tire. <laughs> yeah. So this has been probably the most boring video we could bring you, but uh, yeah. that's how you dry dirt.